Hello guys, welcome sa ating channel dito sa Pinoy Epsom. So, another topic for Physics 1, Polygon Method. In this method, you will use the coordinate system or direction guide as a frame of reference. So, we have steps. Number 1, choose an appropriate scale and frame of reference for the given vectors. Number 2, Draw the first vector starting from the origin of the reference frame. Draw the second vector starting from the head of the first vector. And draw the third vector from the head of the second vector. All vectors must be connected in series or head-to-tail fashion. Then number three, to determine the resultant vector, connect the tail of the first vector to the protector in measuring its direction or using trigonometric uh, principle. Example, find the magnitude and direction of the resultant of these forces using polygon method. So, in this case, guys, gagamit tayo ng trigonometric principle. Solution, We have first vector. So, we have uh, head to tail fashion. So, connect the second vector to the first vector. So, we have F2 or the second vector. Then, we have third vector or F3. Then, the resultant. So, bago makuha yan, kailangan natin bumuo ng triangle. So, we have line as vector C. Then, we have theta or angle theta, angle beta, angle omega, then angle alpha. So, kunin natin yung triangle na to guys. Okay. So, using cosine law, so vector C is equal to the square root of F1 squared plus F2 squared minus 2 times F1 times F2 times the cosine 23 degrees. Then, insert lang yung mga value ng F1, F2, then angle 23 degrees. Then, the value of C is equal to 83.4 newtons. Then, for the unknown omega or angle omega using sine law. So, sine omega over 155 is equal to sine 23 degrees over uh, 83.4. Then, the angle omega is equal to 46.57 degrees. Then, for the resultant, using cosine law. So, R is equal to the square root of F3 squared plus C squared minus 2 times F3 times C times D cosine 28.43 degrees. Then, the R is equal to 230.11 newtons. Then, for direction of resultant. So, we, hang, we have angle Z, no? So, the angle Z is equal to 125.06 degrees minus 90 degrees. Or, is equal to 35.06 degrees. Then, for the R or the resultant, 230.11 newtons. Uh, 35.06 uh, northwest or 230.11 newtons 125.06 from the positive x-axis so this is the superposition huh? 
And this is the final answer. Now for the references. 